I was walking down our street today and I heard my name and I didn't recognize the voice. It was the delivery guy. It's pretty sad when the delivery guy <laughs> knows you by first name. Anyway, today I got uh, this digital microscope and I've seen one before but I don't know how this is. This is, uh, I don't know, not much more than 10 like $12. I can't remember what I paid for it. But uh, I've wanted one since the time I saw one. And there's not much to it. This one comes with a stand, and this is the actual microscope right here. Um, and it's USB, plugs into a computer. So I guess it'll depend on the computer and the uh, quality of that screen. So like my laptop or whatever. And so it's got a little plastic stand with a ratchet on it. I'll go put it together, and we'll give it a try, and we'll see how well it works. See if it's worth the 10 or 12 dollars I paid for it. Well, this is it put together. It took about all of five minutes. The first thing I did is I slid this vertical into here, and there's just a slot, it slides in there and goes click. And then I put the horizontal on there and I just push it on and engage the rack and pinion. Then I screwed the this uh, clamping screw into the back. I put this screw in here, which just has a nut on that side, clipped in the microscope itself, put the six rubber feet on the bottom, and that's, that's it for assembly, so uh, it doesn't get much easier than that. This is the microscope in operation. You can see in the background, uh, this is the focus right here, this knob right here. You can see it getting sharper and not. Yeah, that's not too bad. This is a snapshot on this side. When I push this, it'll take a picture. You can hear that. On the other side is a zoom. When I press that, it'll zoom, I think, four times. Three, four, and then it returns back. It's a virtual zoom. Um, oh, the uh, mentioned this earlier, I think, but this is the brightness control, so you can turn the brightness up and down. You can see it changing on the microscope. And yeah, that's about it for operation. Something I almost forgot to mention, it comes with a lens cap. Can you see this tab right here? And you pop that off of there. Otherwise, your images aren't very good. It's uh, not crystal clear. So, okay, that was one thing I almost missed. The first thing you have to do is use their little supplied uh, DVD. It's got a little tiny micro DVD. And you install these first two things, the driver and the measurement software. The driver is obviously a driver. It runs the microscope. And the measurement is a lot like Microsoft Paint, except that it allows you to, well, it allows you to manipulate the image, but it also allows you to make measurements on the image and keep those. Okay, so. I installed both of these. I did not install them on my C disk. Uh, this one, this second one, the measurement, had problems on my C disk. So I moved it to my D disk where it wouldn't have permission problems and crash. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's pretty standard installation, pretty simple. Does not seem to uh, insert any malware or anything, any uh, adware, anything like that. Seems to be clean as far as I can tell, so that's good news. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have this over here on my desk so we can use it while we're looking at the software. So the first thing is that what they call AMCAP and it's what allows the microscope to operate. Uh, very simple software. These are for setting uh, file space for videos. Uh, the devices, you can select the device obviously we're using the microscope. The options, uh, this is what's on the toolbar, and flip, mirror, these are obvious. Video capture filter, eh, I can't really see that using that much with a, with a microscope, but okay, it's there. And then the uh, properties, uh, here's one annoyance that uh, it uh, forces you to reset the, the image quality every time, which Okay, that's, eh, I don't love that, but, um, yeah. okay, uh, capture, start capture, set time limit, that's for the video, take a picture, that's a snapshot, snapshot location, 
it does remember this, which is interesting. However, snapshot size, it does not remember. You have to set that every time. Okay, so that's pretty much the software. And then it's got buttons that do the things we just talked about. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good software. It's not great software. I wish it would remember the, uh, the defaults, what you wanted for like image sizes. But you know, overall, it's, it's not bad. I will uh, take it. The other piece of software they give you with this microscope is this thing called measurement and it will work with images that are already recorded. As far as I can tell, it won't take them from the, from the microscope itself, but it will allow you to take one that's been uh, previously made. And so this is our image. Um, I took it earlier and the software is pretty easy. It allows you to open image, save, export as Word, Excel. It also allows you to export it as other things. Uh, calibration is obvious. Ruler, it puts this around the outside, which is in pixels, and it's both Chinese and English. Um, color settings are the, are the uh, color swatches down here. It makes them appear. Let's see, where else are we going? Out, export to Outlook. Oh, I should go across this way. Language, okay, my choice of two Chinese or one English. Uh, Windows, I can cascade them. So this works a lot like Microsoft Paint. And then help is just the version, uh, not much help to it. Okay, back to here. Export Outlook, as I said earlier. Picture save as, this is video play. Video stop, this is just change the language again. This is a ruler, which is that red ruler around the outside. This is the calibration for that ruler. Uh, this is drawing a straight line. This is magnifier. These are placing shapes on the form and a curve. Uh, this is distance measurement, which is interesting. Let's see. We'll make a distance measurement from here to here. And so that's 0.778, whatever, uh, pixels is what it's in, uh, measured in. Uh, let's see, this is dot to line. So if you put a line out here and then put a dot, it will tell you the distance from the line to the dot, uh, this, the right angle distance, uh, parallel. This one's interesting. You can create two parallel lines and then it tells you the distance between those two parallel lines. This is my favorite one angle. You can get the angle between, I don't know, say the top of uh, this, this dot and the top of the one. So that angle is 58.512 degrees. These are just labeling the shapes and then the color settings. So that's it. Pretty simplistic, a lot like Microsoft Paint, but uh, has a couple interesting functions that make it worthwhile. Okay, so that's it for their measurement software. Here's how I would anticipate using it most often, just setting it up high like this and using it to look at, you know, um, circuit boards. So here's a little tiny circuit board like this and just kind of leaving it set on one focus. And you can examine that pretty carefully. Flip it over, take a look on the backside. The color rendition is not great, but you know, it's adequate. This side's probably more interesting. Let's see if I can get, this is part of my little fingerprint. Let's get it in focus. So yes, this is actually, you can see some dirt on my finger. Oops. Um, yeah, these are the lines in my finger. Pretty strange looking. These are the veins in a leaf. I'm not sure what this brown thing is. It doesn't look very good. But anyway, it's a, a leaf. Um, can move it around a little bit. And yeah, you can see the, clearly see the bottom of the leaf there. And whatever's going on there. It looks like bugs or something. Ooh. Yep, there's some bugs. Well, that's it for this review of this $10 to $12 digital USB microscope. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your explorations of digital microscopy.